you for watching Untangling the Tangle. Today we're going over a tangle that starts from ceiling plane, comes between the arms, and pops out on the floor planes. Things needed to make this move happen. You need to have a basic understanding of horizontal framework and being comfortable keeping your poi at split time, same direction on your ceiling plane. Things that will definitely help you but are not necessarily needed is having a understanding of mollies and horizontal ollies. To start this move, pay attention to the direction you're most comfortable spinning in. If it's to the left, have your right underneath your left hand when you're in ceiling plane. And if you're spinning mostly to the right, have your left underneath the right on ceiling plane. Practice those ceiling planes until you feel comfortable. Once you're about as comfortable as you think you're going to get, go ahead and start spinning in the direction that is most comfortable for you, above your head. For me right now, I am going to the right. After this, I will show you going to the left. Eventually, you'll want to learn both ways to help you with the different variations you can come up with with this move. So, spinning to the right, my right hand is going to be under my left when they cross. Left is going to come around my head come around my neck and it's going to meet the tether in the middle and as soon as it meets that tether in the middle with the hand that is leading the left pull that left up or down between your arms inside of your arms and then the right will follow and then it'll unfold and unravel at the bottom of the plane so just try to see if you can start off Go around behind the neck and come inside, inside your arms with the hand that is leading, mine being my left as I'm spinning to the right, and come inside, let the right follow, and just look at the ground, and you will look at the tangle unraveling. So let's try that one more time. Start with your split, have them crossing, my right is underneath my left, come around the neck, meet the tether, come inside the arms, and a motion like this and they will carry inside between your arms and then just look at the ground. Once you feel pretty comfortable trying it to your dominant side, try to switch it up. And for me, before I was demonstrating the right, I will now demonstrate the left. Start the poi, spinning towards the left. Come above your head with your left underneath the right poi. With your right hand, come around your neck. Tangle the poi, meeting the tethers again in the middle, and then bring it through your arms with your right leading the charge. Left underneath, right comes around, unravel at the bottom. Now that we're feeling pretty good on both sides, one of my favorite things to do with this move is instead of initially going and just starting at the top, doing that bringing around the neck motion, with a cap pattern down off the floor. So cap this one and then meet it, cap this one and then meet it. And all you're doing is taking that same motion around your neck with the hand that is leading the charge and the one that is not leading the charge is capping off the bottom to meet that poi and then bringing it inside the arms and then following through that move. Let's try that a few times. Cap around the neck, cap around the neck cap around the neck. One last thing you should know. Once you feel comfortable doing that cap variation, go ahead and try cutting off the extra rotations that come inside of the arm and you have an immediate outing at the bottom, creating a whole different look 
just by not adding those extra rotations and coming inside of the arm. Thank you so much for watching. I hope we all learn. I'll see you